So we got word that our registration for our boat would be in in about a week. So we decided to start heading back to Greece through the Balkans. Our first stop was Burgas, Bulgaria. We went to this magical pink lake called Atena Sovusko. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that properly, but it's um, one of the few places in the world where you can actually swim in a pink lake. And it gets its color from the microscopic um, brine shrimp in it. And it's the largest salt factory in Bulgaria and it produces roughly 40,000 tons annually. We were there on a really chilly day and the water was even chillier. But this meant there was nobody else there, so we had it all to ourselves. We went to Bulgaria, which is one of the few places you can go swimming in a pink lake. And it was freezing. But as a Canadian, it's definitely not the coldest place I've swam. But overall, it was a really fun time and I really enjoyed it. I was a little bit skeptical at first when I was getting into the water because it seemed odd how it was just so pink. But when I finally got in, it was pretty cold, but I got used to it pretty quick. It felt like you were walking on a whole bunch of rocks, but then when I reached down, it turned out a whole bunch of salt crystals. We had a lot of fun splashing around in the lake. Then we coated ourselves in some mud, but it was quite difficult to get off, so we ran across the railroad tracks to wash off in the Black Sea. city of Plovdiv, which felt like a truly hidden gem. The main street's really charming and wide with so many shops and cafes. Yeah, and there's these scattered ruins all throughout that you can walk through and visit freely. And uh, there's even ruins in the basement of an H&M. It's uh, really an amazing mix of like ancient times and modern amenities uh, with a colorful twist. said to be like an eccentric but kind-hearted local and he loved to spread gossip so urban legend has it that if you whisper a wish in his ear it'll come true Sofia is the second oldest continually occupied capital city in Europe and has a rich history that spans over 6,000 years. And it just so happens to be one of the only places in the world with a free food tour. It's called Vulcan Bites and it was a really great introduction to Bulgarian cuisine and the culture. 
The tour had everything from fresh soup to makitsi, which is similar to like a beignet, to Bulgarian tapas, and even wine. They even gave a bit of a history lesson with the tour, like Bulgarian's wine was actually mentioned in Homer's Iliad and Odyssey. I was also really impressed with how accommodating they were to my meat allergy. It's a really, really great tour and we had so much fun. share and subscribe to our channel.